Hello and welcome to the 2022 Music City Open. This is the FPO lead card coverage, final round, back nine. We're here at the Mill Ridge Park in Antioch, Tennessee. And after an exciting two days and a front nine on the final day, Missy and Macy are tied first. I'm Holly Finley and I'm in third. Hina Blomroos in fourth. Let's start off with hole 10. This is a par three, 250 feet. There is OB pretty much everywhere. This is an island hole with a drop zone at the far right side of the jelly bean. The, the basket's on the far left side with only about 12 feet on 75% of the green. Most players are gonna throw it out to the right, looking for a longer putt, or they may just lay up, which is also to the right. Henna up first. It's a little bit of a headwind today. Ooh, she got a little lucky there, I think. A Off little... the base of the bush, back in bounds. Wow. Thank you, Bush. Oh. Missy, that's low. Couldn't get over the second? No. Denied. Missy will proceed to the drop zone. That's looking high. This is an AVR, so it needs the air under it, but you're right. Too high. That is out of bounds. She'll go to the drop zone, which is pretty far away, 75 feet or so. It's not a putt unless you're foolish. And Macy, oh, Macy, that's Ooh. cutting left. Come on, I mean, roll back in. Right. Mm. That is also out of bounds. Yeah. This seems to be an intimidating hole for a lot of people. Only 250 feet. It's just that the island can kind of psych you out sometimes. I'd like to see them move this drop zone to about 50 feet so that players might have the opportunity to run this putt if they feel so inclined. Most players are just putting this at the base. Yeah, this drop zone is so far that most people don't have a putt from that far. It's more of a mini throw. So I agree with Sarah. Henna says, no thanks, not taking a taste of that. But she will take a, a stroke from the card. Oh. Great putt from Macy. I'm a specialist at reaching in the basket to get my disc out and missing it and missing it again and maybe a third time. It becomes so automatic that we just don't watch our hand grab it. Oh, I feel I feel that so hard. Sometimes when you pick up your mini and you miss it like four times and stumble over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so still tied up, Missy and Macy both with a bogue. But Hannah. Hannah. She takes the par, and look at this. She's one away. There is a three-horse race. Let's check out hole 11. Oh, this tee shot, I'm going to tell you what. Just pick your poison. You can take the left, right side. What you want to do is land about here. This will give you a nice open shot down the tunnel, or as Sarah Hokum calls it, suck a gap. <laughs> this is a very birdieable hole for our division, but it is not easy by any means. This is a very tough hole. Every single shot requires extreme accuracy and henna misfiring. She's in an okay position though. Missy, who's taken this aggressive right side with the thrasher, does it again, misses, but also kind of ends up in the middle of the gap. Won't be too obstructed on her second. Sidearm play from Evelina. This is a Thunderbird. Laces the line. Great position. Look at that. Perfect. Macy goes felon. I love Macy's sidearm. Looking for that right fade. Another perfect shot. 
And as you remember from yesterday's round, this is the hole with the cacti where you have to take relief. It is not optional. Henna looking for a positioning shot. She puts a lot on that. Ooh, I like that turn she put on it. Right down the gap. Oh, pushes that, a little far, but... That's going to make it tricky. I mean, she's on the edge, but you'll see when she gets there. Missy going over this left side. I have never seen this from a female. And pushes to the left side gap and trickles into the middle bushes. Very curious to see where Missy ended up. Macy taking the low sucker gap, which is not a sucker gap. <laughs> it's a beautiful route. That was a beautiful shot. Indicated by Macy. She'll have a putt from the edge though. Get out of that. Evelina, a little bit too much, too early and Heiser in the middle bushes. She's shown us some incredible shot shaping. Mm, there is OB over on that right side. Hopefully she didn't find it. Who is that? Is that Missy? That, I think that, mm. It was Missy, so that's where her shot ended up. Wow. And this is that left side gap that we don't really see off the drone footage, but you You're can see right. how much it air is space. open. You I, weren't lying to me. There's so much airspace. I still don't want to go over there, though. Fine. You can have it. Okay. Evelina Two. resorting to a roller. Hits the gap. I like it. Through go. the pencil trees. That's a putt. It's a long one, but it's a putt. Um, Henna's well. now on the right side tree line oh. and she's still maybe a hundred feet nope no she's not a, she's circles edge rolls back into the woods shouldn't be too far in though that didn't have a lot of speed evelina from outside of the circle who this hole has just it's got some teeth ravaged this card it's gnarly i'm telling you it is the third, playing as the third hardest hole on the course. It's got cacti on it and everything. Tear you up. Just not enough space to get a full stroke. Missy with a long look. For bogey. Let's go, Missy. Ooh, good save. Solid putt right there. There's a lot of stuff on the edge of that circle. Hate to see that. Love to see that, though. That was a great par. That gets one stroke on the leader. That means Macy is our new leader. Solo leader. Unfortunate double bogey for Henna. Evelina takes a bogey as well. Only 24% of the field parred this. There were zero birdies on the day. 74. 76% bogey or worse. Whew, that that's, one is a doozy. That's a tough one for sure. With that, Macy is now in the lead by one. Missy just one back. Henna, three off the lead. Moving on to hole 12. This is a par three, 281 feet through this little gap. Pretty simple shot. Plays to a backhand turnover or a sidearm up the left side. Very birdieable hole. There's two in a row here that are par threes. The ladies need to capitalize on. They want to win this tournament. Macy up first. Is she going to get the gap? Yes, she is. Not yes. the intended gap, but that worked. <laughs> or maybe, it, yeah, no. <laughs> the wind makes this gap a little hard to hit. Players, some take the obvious gap and some take 
over the top. That's the obvious gap, and that looks great. Wow, within five feet, Missy Gannon. Park City. High enough to be over the right side, but also through the gap. Evelina That's parks it. AVR3. Wow. That left side is pretty gnarly. You can she see her disc is in the creek, so she has had to take relief casually back along the line of play behind the disc with no penalty because the creek is casual. That's different from the relief on the hole before. Macy with a chance to birdie. She knows Missy is close. She definitely wanted that one. Evelina with birdie. Shot a short comebacker. For par. Similar miss not feeling her stroke at the moment. I know this feeling where you're just hoping somebody else is further away so you can take Don't a have to go three or four times a, in a row. Can I take a minute? Go into the straddle. Now she doesn't want to go again, so someone else is going to go. Looks like Macy is out. She is so. out, so that works out great. Macy, Macy. With, it's good focus. With the par. We still haven't gotten to Missy's disc. There it is. Inside the bullseye. And Henna, after that great shot out of the casual water to save the par. Good putt. Good scramble. Very good putt. Here we go, Evelina, you got it. You got it. There we go, in the chains. So Missy with this short tap in, she lost one on the last hole, but just gains one right back. They are tied back up. Minus four, Henna is only three back. Only one birdie on that birdie hole. I feel like that's almost a must get, especially on the last day. Yeah, I mean, 42% of the field got that birdie today. Let's check out hole 13, 270 feet. Also a birdieable hole, but not easy to get into. The canopy is low, okay? Uh, the ceiling, the ceiling is low. The rocks, they stair step up. So you have to start high at the canopy, let's let the disc drop and float underneath to get into the green. If you throw too low, you're gonna hit the edge of the rocks and bounce backwards. You do not wanna be left or right. Missy throwing a thrasher with perfect height, gets caught up at the edge of the circle. She'll have a putt. That'll be obstructed, but she is up there. I don't know if she'll have a putt from there though. Yeah, left or right is really nasty. Advantage Missy. Hannah goes with a rock three on that slow turning angle she throws so well. Doesn't quite get in there, but she may have a look through a couple different pencil trees. You really need more height to get into the green. See if Evelina puts some height on her shot. There it is. There it is. Sneak. Oh, it did, inside the circle. So Macy pretty obstructed, maybe give this a light go. Interesting, 
get it up there. It's it is pretty up close. there. I thought she was going to Annie putt it. Then it came out a little hyzer. Hannah must have got a kick. What over. was that dirty thing? Ooh, that looked like a lot of chains. Too many chains to not be in the bucket. Missy from about 25. It is slightly uphill. Seen a lot of low putts. I, that was, I did not see that. Let's go, Evelina. For birdie. Oh. Ooh, good bit at it. It's right at the base, and Macy has a short putt for her par. This is the most beautiful green on the course. That'll work. So no movement there. It wasn't birdied very often. Only 9% of the field got this one today. Not surprising. It is tough to get up in there. Still tied up. Macy and Missy. Henna now a couple strokes away, but everyone does walk away with pars. That's a good thing on that hole. Five holes to go. We're on to 14. Par four, 429 feet. The first shot is a gap shot out that out that very tight gap out into this open area. The further left you have, you are the more access you have to see the basket. Most of the second shots are going to be a turnover or a sidearm into this green. There is OB in a pond beyond it, and any of the rough as is this course is very very rough. Missy up first with a thrasher. That's the one. Step one through the gap. Mission complete. Exactly. Stage one complete. Oh. Access denied. Hannah hits the same tree. Mm. Access denied. Evelina with the destroyer. Gets up there, kicks to the right. I mean, it's out of the gap, so I'll call that a mini win. Very fortunate placement for her. She can get a full run up. She should be able to save a par from there. The question will be, does she have an open look to the pin? She may be pinched on that right. Macy just having to pitch out. This is going to make for a very tough par save. A lot of distance left. You're going to have to shot shape it. She looks like she's playing for the bogey. Punching out to the left, she'll pitch down to the basket. That's probably a smart play. I mean, to try to shape something 375 Anheuser. With the pond behind. Like Evelina is attempting. <laughs> which is awesome. She is outside circle two, but looking straight down, that's great. Missy in prime position. This is a mantis. So slower disc, she's looking to turn that into the green and she gets herself inside the circle. That's a very good shot, Missy telling me herself the Anheuser is probably the weakest part of her game. I'd say that looked pretty good. Smart disc choice using the Mantis for that one. Macy's sidearm is so tasty. She sneaks up into the circle. With a long putt to save the bogey. Henna, also kind of in recovery mode. Puts it really close. So she had a look at that from, that's, that matters so much when you have a blind shot versus Something that where you can actually see the basket. Evelina pitching down. Hopefully that'll curl up close to the basket for her. Missy for birdie. Chanceling. Wow. From way outside. 
take a look at this putt. The slight hyzer catches the right chain. Look at that. Look at that. It's out and it's in. Oh, my gosh. I love the slow-mo on that. I did not realize it was almost not in. <laughs> Macy looking to save bogey. That's a big momentum swinger. Oh, that was smart. She realizes that her putting isn't working right now, so she pitches it on the ground, and therefore you just have a drop in. No back and forth. Unfortunate double for Macy. Not what you're looking for. On the orbit fell, and this thing has been amazing. Uh, the plastic, the flight, everything is, is, is just amazing. You can really manipulate the angles on this thing. It's, it's, it's a felon, but it, it does things that felons really aren't supposed to do, and that's why I love it. Oh, no way! No the crowd was so spectacular today. Just the energy from you all was just amazing. Hole 14 here. So with that, Missy gets three strokes in one hole to take the lead at minus five. Macy drops back to minus two. And I get with the par stays at minus one. Check out hole 15, par four, 538 feet. This is a positioning drive. You want to land somewhere near this gap so you can have a position to get your shot into the green for a chance at a birdie. If you're not in a good position, then you can just flail out anywhere into the field and you'll be safe, or you can do a little positioning pitch-up shot and try to get yourself a par save. Let's see where Missy ends up. Ooh, I think that might be perfect. I would agree with that. You're enough on the right side of that gap to throw a shot to the pin that's not super blind. Henna pushing to a similar position. Also perfect. More perfecter. More perfecter, the most perfectest. Evelina looking to match. Oh. oh my God, through the gap? I've never seen anyone throw through the gap. Is she gonna be pinched though on that left side? I don't even care because that is just <laughs> so cool. And that's a little right and I hope it's not in the woods because oh. then you just have to waste a stroke to pitch over to where Missy and Henna landed. Um, mm. That's unfortunate. You do get a two meter relief off the barbed wire. I don't know if there is any there. Looks like she got a thorn. There are some nasty thorns out here. Um, that thick is extra thick. So as you can see, as I mentioned, just laying up close to where the other females have landed their drives. And this is still fine. You can save a par from here. Absolutely. That looks good. Yep. Oh, hey, you called it. Picture perfect. Henna throwing in the standstill, looking for the ultimate control. And somebody's closer. Wow. No putt needed for that one. Wow, we could see this. Wow, this is, let's see. Missy, also, we thought she was in great position. This is a Raptor. So pretty overstable fairway. Yep, that'll do. Money. And looks like we missed Evelina's drive, but she is outside circle one. Evelina's second shot, excuse me. Missy for birdie. Two birdies in a row. 
those are two tough birdies. Those aren't easy birdies by any means. Great par save by Macy. Really good scramble. Evelina with the par. And Hannah have the drop in birdie. Drop in birdie on 15. He's got to throw a standstill on your second shot. That's, okay. That's the trick. Next year. Missy takes another stroke on the card, well, on Macy, and Henna also gets that birdie. So Macy and Henna are now kind of battling here for second place. From what we can see, Macy way out, of, or Missy is way out ahead. Hole 16, 326 feet. This is a tricky one. It's easy to short it and hyzer left. What you really want to do is push straight for about uh, 315 feet and let the disc lazy hyzer into the green. You can go the backside tunnel and skip in. It's also easy to get caught up on that evergreen early left. She threw, I think she threw a little bit high today, uh, but yep. she's edge of the circle, no harm done. She's got to look for birdie. I agree. Right in her wheelhouse. Oh, there's that evergreen on the left. Mm. Easy to get caught up in that thing. I like that. Pushing that straight tree trickles through, gives her a putt from the edge of the circle. You almost have to challenge that tree. You do. Knock off a couple branches on the way. You do. Shave that bark off. Ooh, big flare skip. She'll be hanging out with Missy. Nice sidearm out. She's running it. Oh, that was a beautiful run. Loved the height. Missy from circle two. We saw it a couple holes ago. Mm. Hmm. That looked a little uninspired. She got her lead and now she's like, meh, I don't need to make any of these. Macy with a look for birdie, get one on the leader. No. Evelina laying up. Missy giving it an extra stare down. Looking like it thought about slipping through, but not today, 16. Not today. Henna with an unfortunate bogey after getting caught up early left. Macy. Gets the par. So that breaks up the tie between Macy and Henna. Advantage Macy. So no birdies here on that hole. That was one of the easier holes. But Missy's still way out in front at a minus six. Macy at minus two. Henna at minus one. Heading into the most difficult hole on the course. Hole 17 this is a par four. 667 feet with a tight gap off the tee. Players are going to throw around that right tree trying to land here. Or they're going to take the gut shot. Their next shot will be from just behind that lie all the way to the pin. There's OB all the way up the right side. And there are trees on the left. Do you want to go OB? Or do you want to go left side? Pick your risk reward. I think most players are going to go up the gut. So that's a little extra turn. Take some courage because you got to swing it out of bounds for a few seconds. 
get it back inbounds. Missy lands perfectly in the middle of the fairway. Textbook. Evelina also the gut shot. And that needs to hook hard left. Uh, too straight. Mm, that's unfortunate. She'll have to throw from way back there. Macy going explorer. We that, haven't, mm, we haven't seen her throw this yet. She, oh, did the tree kick her back in? The out of bounds does extend around that tree. I think so it did. It could still be out. Hopefully, it's in. I like this. It looks like it's going to finish back left. Ooh, very nice. All the way up there. Even gets to that extra bubble on the left side. Elite level shot on hole 17 from Henna. Look at this. I think Macy was inbounds. That was a great shot. So that was just her second. Evelina now throwing three. Oh. Well, that was rude. I mean, at least she's in the middle, not in that creek on the left. Missy with that thrasher again. Getting the hyzer just before the basket. On the other side of the creek? Into the creek, it'll be a tough putt from there. But that is a good, easy par on a hole that is not easy to par. Hannah will join her on the left wood line. And the creek on the left is not OB. It just can be tough to putt out of at times, depending on where you land. Oh, look at that. Excellent. On the edge. Short grass. There is OB right. That's why a lot of players are favoring the left side. And the OB right is only about 15, 20 feet. Exactly. Really close. Missy is on the other side of the creek. This is for birdie. We have not seen very many birdies on this hole on the whole weekend. I mean, a drop-in par is amazing on this hole. I'd take that any day of the week. And walk yeah. my booty to hole 18. Yeah, this is playing as the hardest hole on the course. It is such a doozy. Ooh, that was a good run. Really nice looking putt. This whole thing was a good run. <laughs> I wonder if Macy knows the scores. I mean, it's hard to say. Oh, the basket will just not give it to us. Missy dropping in her par. A bogey for Macy. An unfortunate double for Evelina. And Henna gets the par, so that flip flop flip flops them once again, and they are back tied up at second place. As far as we can tell, there could be some people sneaking up the leaderboard from the second card, though. And on to our final hole, par three, 305 feet. You going over? Yeah, I'm going for it. So go over the water or not. It doesn't look that far and it isn't actually that far, but the line is very technical. It has not yielded very many birdies. A lot of players are gonna throw out to the right and then pitch over to get the par. talking to Missy yesterday about her game plan for hole 18. She said she is gonna lay up. She's always gonna lay up. She's certainly prime in prime position to do so with a very big lead. She just needs to put this one in the fairway, pop it over the trees, lay up a putt, and walk away with a victory.
That looks fine. That'll work. Step one. We have seen Henna miss this tee shot two days in a row. Can she get it today? Oh, yeah. That's an FD straight up the pipe. I am so happy for her that she accomplished that shot. Incredible. <laughs> Middle of circle one, great line. Macy going explorer, she's going for it. Sit. Oh yeah. On to the island. Evelina, that's a destroyer. Turn, turn. Oh. oh. Did it touch up there at all? I don't wonder if it swung in barely and then swung out. Here's a look at Missy's lie on her second shot. A nice wide open airspace. Oh yeah, Perfect. bullseye. What you're looking for. So Evelina did get in bounds pretty close. So it's a great outcome. It's a smart play. Laying it up for the drop in. So Macy is tied with Henna right now. So she needs to make this putt. Sometimes it's self-deprecating. Yeah, you just kind of laugh it off. and Yeah, it's, I mean, sometimes that's the way to do it. It's a good attitude. It's better than, you know, cussing yourself. Yeah, or drop kicking your bag. Yeah, there's many way, way worse things one can do. And right. I henna for birdie. This is to... Oh. You better no. sit. You... Oh, no. Oh, no! You better not, you dirty dog. Oh. Rolls just out of bounds. Now with this option, since she's already taking OB, she can re-putt from the same lie with penalty, which is much smarter. Player B. Taking that bogey. In. Single bogey, though. Would have been much harder putt to make from where she went out of bounds. Absolutely. That would have been a 50-footer uphill. So smart move by Henna. Macy with a little bit of a putt for the par. Thankfully, it didn't roll away like Henna's. Solid finish. She got third here last year and had a really nice run again. Was really close to the leader for 75% of the course. Great to see Evelina on the lead card. And our winner, Missy Gannon. Missy Gannon taking down the Music Eight City Open. Presents the 2022 Dynamic Disc Music City Open FPO champion, Missy Gannon. This is her first win of the 2022 season and well deserved. Congratulations on your first Disco Pro Tour win of the 2022 season. How does it feel? It feels great. Uh, you know, this is, uh, I felt like I was starting to ramp up a little bit. Uh, finally kind of feeling my stride, feeling my putt again. So, uh, yeah, it feels good to come out with a win. Yeah, you see, feeling your putt. You had a three-stroke lead going into hole one today. A few lead changes. Uh, you definitely sent one into the danger zone on hole one. How'd that feel? Uh, yeah, that, I mean, that was, that felt great. And I honestly felt like, when I made that putt that uh, I wasn't going to lose. And although I tried hard <laughs> to make it harder on myself throughout the round, um, you know, I still felt like I, if I was putting well, I just have to get clean off the tee and I, I was going to be okay. <laughs> awesome. Well, congratulations. What's coming next for you on the road right now? I have a week off and then Champions Cup, so I'm going to get ready for that and take a little bit of a break. But, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the first major of the year. Is there anyone else you'd like to thank here or at home? 
Yeah, absolutely. Thank you to all my sponsors, Discraft, uh, Whale Sacks, Ledgestone, Grip, also obviously Tom, uh, my caddy. Couldn't do it without you, so thank you all for watching. Thank you very much. Whew, an exciting finishing hole. Missy with that par. Macy also getting the par. Henna saving that bogey, as well as Evelina. Wow, what a round. I'm telling you, let us know in the comments. Would you have laid it up safe for 18 or went for the water shot? Really appreciate you guys tuning in to the 2022 Music City Open. Let's take a look at the final leaderboard because the second card has movement. Cat Merch shooting minus one on the round, moves up to second place. Uh, Macy gets third once again, two years in a row. And then Deanne, yourself, and Henna all get the tie for fourth. Did you see that Deanne got whole 18's birdie every single round? Three days in a row. Whew pretty awesome. Lots of action on the FPO side. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.